I'm Yasmin Benoit. I'm a model and aromantic asexuality activist from Reading, Berkshire. And I was asked to film a video for It Gets Better. So I hope that you find my story helpful. Now, I've always said that being asexual and aromantic was never the weirdest thing about me. Growing up as a black gothic girl in a predominantly white area was definitely my most notable quirk. Um, I was always a bit of a non-conformist. I didn't mind being different. And I think that it was very helpful for me to have that mentality because when I realized that I was aromantic and asexual and I realized that at quite a young age, it wasn't anything particularly devastating because it wasn't like I was trying to be normal and now I was like, oh, this is completely throwing everything off. I was just like, oh, okay, another unusual thing to add to my list. Whatever. I never tried to be anything else, so I didn't really have to come out as asexual in the conventional sense. Um, my issues with asexuality didn't come from within myself. It came from other people projecting their ideas and misconceptions onto me. Even when people don't know what asexuality is, they usually still have an opinion on it. And the general consensus was that there was something wrong with me. This was mainly something that happened within secondary school. Everyone believed that they knew more about what was going on inside my head than I did. Um, people thought that there was something mentally or emotionally or physically wrong with me, that I was stunted or slow, and they treated me like that for years. And when you're at that age where you're still trying to kind of find yourself and understand yourself in context to how other people see you, it's definitely very damaging to have so many people say you're not right. And it took me a long time to kind of get out of that self-doubt and to build my confidence back up after getting that message from so many angles for so many years. Things started to get better when I finished full-time education. I did my A-levels, I got a bachelor's degree, I got a master's degree, and in the end I realized that everything people were saying about me really wasn't true. There was nothing wrong with me. And it just took me being away from the negativity and changing my company rather than changing myself. When I finished education, I decided to get involved in activism more because I believed that the reason why I would had these experiences was because there was such little visibility for aromanticism and asexuality. And I thought that if we could change that, if we could educate people more, then things would get easier for everyone. And that kind of snowballed in a way I hadn't expected. I did not expect um, the asexual community to get behind me the way it did. Um, prior to becoming an activist, I really hadn't been that engaged. I had never really been part of any community. I was very much a lone wolf who kept in my bubble, minded my own business, I didn't really use social media, didn't really hang out with people that often, wasn't really part of a scene. Um, I, modeling was my main thing, but even then that didn't really mean that I had to communicate with people that often outside of the shoots. Um, and the activism really changed things. It connected me with people from all over the world, people I never would have crossed paths with, and I realized that we had such similar experiences. It was very reassuring, it was very validating, and it did a lot to help me rebuild my confidence and realize that all the things that people have said was a problem were actually a strength and a power. My goal was to help other people, but it also really ended up helping me. And it's funny because all of the things that I would have seen as being flaws, things that put a target on my back have kind of became my my strengths. They are things that people relate to. They're the things that make me unique and it's funny how things have really kind of 360'd and also came full circle in the same way. I'm very glad that I didn't change myself because there was never anything wrong with who I was and I think that that's that's why the whole idea of it gets better really resonates with me because for me 
it really did get better and it took a while it took a long time of me feeling like I didn't really fit anywhere it took a long time for me to find people who understood me but it happened and everything fell into place and everything worked out in the end so yeah trust me it gets better